Hello everyone, welcome to the video lecture series of recurrence relations. In this video lecture, I shall be solving second problem on inhomogeneous recurrence relation. There is something new in this problem. Let us see the novelty. Solve the recurrence relation a n equals to 3 a n minus 1 minus 4 n plus 3 times 2 to the power n with a 1 equals to 8. Okay. Now, the novelty of this question is the kind of the function f of n we have. So let us see how to tackle this kind of inhomogeneous recurrence relation. First of all consider the recurrence re relation that is given to you and then find the function f of n. I am writing here the function 3 into 2 to the power n minus 4 n. I have just swapped the terms because it is easy to write it in this manner. Okay. Now we go for solving of the uh, homogeneous recurrence relation a n equals to 3 a n minus 1. Okay. Now we will solve this. So let a n equals to alpha to the power n. Therefore alpha to the power n is 3 times alpha to the power n minus 1 and further when you solve you get alpha equals to 3. And the general solution for the homogeneous recurrence relation will be a n to the power bracketed h equals to a 1 times 3 to the power n. So that is done. Now we go for the solving the particular part, particular solution of the inhomogeneous recurrence relation. Consider the function f of n. f of n is 3 times 2 to the power n minus 4 n. What you do is you write this function in this manner f of n equals to f1 plus f2 where you have f1 equals to 3 times 2 to the power n and f2 is equals to minus of 4n. Okay. Now starts the main part. Okay. This is the one of the main step that's why I have put the red star and now the main part of the problem starts. Uh, before dealing with that part 1, I am writing an idea over here that is in order to solve for the particular solution, you will have to deal with the particular solution with each function f1, f2, okay, and then get the answer of the final particular solution. Okay, so the in short the idea is for particular solution of the recurrence relation, you will have to solve it with each term of f of n. Okay, the idea is that. So let us see how. Consider the recurrence relation a n equals to 3 a n minus 1 plus f 1 which is nothing but 3 a n minus 1 plus 3 times 2 to the power n. For time being keep f 2 aside. Okay, don't touch that. We will just focus on solving a n equals to 3 a n minus 1 plus 3 times 2 to the power n. So this is the recurrence relation that we are interested in solving. We have already solved for the homogeneous part so that is not a big problem. How to tackle for 3 times 2 to the power n. So in the procedure of solving the inhomogeneous recurrence relation. I had described in step 2 certain substitutions. For this the substitution that works is a n equals to b times 2 to the power n. Now observe carefully. I had also described in my previous video lecture that wherever you see the function of n you will have to replace as per that. So that is wherever you see a n you will have to accordingly replace for the substitution b times 2 to the power n. So here a n will become b times 2 to the power n where a n minus 1 will become b times 2 to the power n minus 1. Okay. So that is what you get over here. Now observe this equation carefully. The smallest power over here is of 2 to the power n minus 1. So you divide throughout by 2 to the power n minus 1. What you obtain is 2b is equals to 3b plus 6. Therefore b is equals to minus 6. Finally you obtain the value of b equal to minus 6. 
you plug this value over here and you obtain your particular solution for the first part of your f of n that is f1 okay so the particular solution for the first part is a n to the power bracketed p1 okay um, you have minus 6 times 2 to the power n so this is your first part particular solution okay now similarly you have to find for the second part of your function f2 that is minus 4n what is the recurrence relation you obtain that is a n equals to 3 a n minus 1 minus 4n okay so the substitution that works for this part is a n equals to b1 n plus b naught okay now while substituting in the recurrence relation be careful wherever you see a n you replace it by b1 n plus b naught and wherever you see a n minus 1 you will have to replace it by b1 times n minus 1 plus b naught okay so over here you get this as the answer okay this is the equation that you get now you solve further okay you multiply this 3 inside and uh, then you multiply this 3b1 inside the bracket you obtain this now you don't touch the left hand side at all what you do is you collect the terms who are having n okay and you write them in this manner and you collect the constant terms okay now compare the left hand side and right hand side because left hand side is a polynomial in n and right hand side is also a polynomial in n you can compare their coefficients over here so what you get finally on comparing you get b1 is equals to 3b1 minus 4 and b0 is equals to minus of 3b1 plus 3b0 once you solve for b1 you obtain b1 is equals to 2 okay and then you plug up the value for b1 in this equation you will obtain the value for b0 as 3 okay thus finally what you have is your solution for the second part of the function f2 of n and that is nothing but a n to the power bracketed p2 is nothing but 2 n plus 3 that is b1 n plus b0 you substitute the value of b1 and b0 okay on so uh, finding this answer what you have to do is you have to write your particular solution finally so this is your total particular solution that is a n to the power bracketed p is nothing but the a n obtained from the first function f1 and what is the a n obtained from the second function f2 so those two particular solutions you add them up you get your final particular solution or your total particular solution over here now you finally have your general solution in front of you this is the formula you plug up the values a of your homogeneous so uh, recurrence relation and the total particular solution now in order to find the constant term a1 what you will need to do you will have to use the initial condition and you find the answer by putting n equal to 1 in the general solution and you get a equals to 5 so finally your explicit solution looks like this a n equals to 5 times 3 to the power n minus 6 times 2 to the power n plus 2 n plus 3 so that is the final solution so for you i leave some practice problems the first one first and the second are very uh, easy 
the third one is on the similar nature of the problem that I have taken over here. You can solve these problems on your own and you can revert it to me if you have any difficulties. I shall soon reply to them as soon as I get to know. Uh, and please like the video lecture if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel and uh, I shall soon see you with more video lectures on the series and other topics in uh, my channel. So till then keep solving good amount of mathematics. Thank you.